Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I want to talk about how you can drop columns from tables in SQLite. So if you've used SQLite frequently, then you may have discovered that you can't simply drop columns from tables like you do in something like MySQL or Postgres. SQLite just won't let you by design. So to actually drop the column, you have to have another approach. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with Flask Migrate. So I have the beginnings of an app set up here. I only need to create a model for this video. So I'll just create a model called test and I'll give it a few columns. So an ID column, DB column, DB integer, and then the primary key is going to be true. And then for another column, I'll give it a name. So this doesn't actually mean anything. This is just for demonstration purposes only. And I'll create a third column named remove. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eventually remove this column from the table test. So I'll export my Flask app so I can run Flask migrate the uh, DB commands. So Flask app equals uh, batch example dot pi. And then I will do Flask DB init. So this should initialize the migrations folder, which it does. So right now I have no versions. And then what I'll do to start is I will migrate. So flask db migrate. This will generate the file to actually create the table in the database. So if I go to versions here and open up the single file that's here, we see it's creating a table and it's adding three columns, ID, name, remove, and it's putting in the primary key constraint on ID. And that's for the upgrade case. And the downgrade case is dropping the table. So everything right here is completely fine. This is expected and this is what I want. So I'll go ahead and call upgrade so I can have this database actually created. And since I did that, I should now have a database file. So test.db. So I'll just open it up look at the tables and look at the schema. So I have two tables, the Alembic table, which is created when you initialize Flask um, migrate and upgrade it for the first time. And then I have this table test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some data into the test table. So I'll do that using uh, Flask SQL Alchemy. So from batch example import uh, let's see db and test and then i'll just add a couple of things so i'll add one test name is going to be first and then remove is going to be blah because it doesn't really matter what that is and two test second Another thing to remove. So I'll add these two, one and two. And then I'll commit this to the database. And next what I want to do is I want to verify that the data is in there. So I know I could have done this using SQLite the first time around, but just to continue using Flash SQL Alchemy, I did it that way. So open up the test database and then select star from test. And we see, we see the two rows that I just added to the database. So now what I want to do is I want to drop one of those columns. I want to drop the remove column. So what you do in the file is you simply remove the column that you want from the model. So you remove the attribute and then when you run migrate again, Flask migrate is going to pick up on that and generate a command to actually remove the column from the database. So I'll run flask db migrate again. And then I'll take a look at the file that was generated. So this is the file. And then we see it has a drop column. And uh, the downgrade is the reverse. So it's adding the column back. <clears throat> so if I were to run this, so flask db upgrade. We see I get this error. And basically here, it says error near drop syntax, error, alter table, test, drop, column, remove. That just doesn't work because SQLite does not support that command. You cannot drop a column from a table in SQLite. 
So how do I do this if I can't simply drop a column like this? Well, you have to use uh, something called the batch commands that Olympic gives you. So if you take a look here at the documentation, uh, they have a short section on using batch migrations, and they just talk about uh, what the process is and the way that you would do it. And basically the idea is because you can't drop a column from a SQLite table, what you do instead is you create a new table that represents the new form of the table that you want. So basically you create a new table with one less column so that remove column would no longer be there. Then you copy the data from the original table and then you move it to the new table and you ignore the stuff in the remove column because that's not going to be there anymore. And then you drop the original table and then you rename the new table to be the old table. So the end result is practically you dropped a column, but you just have to go through all these steps. And instead of you writing the codes to go through all those steps, uh, Alembic, which is what Flask Migrate is built on top of, uh, does it for you. So it, this is one of the cases where you have to modify the migration file directly, but as you'll see in just a moment, it's very simple. So you just use with and then OP. So OP uh, is from Alembic, so this represents an operation, and you wanna say batch alter table. And then you supply the name of the table, which is test. And then you can use as to give this an alias, uh, let's say batch operation, and then indent this. And then it's going to use this batch with any commands that follow that are within this block. So now I want to drop a column. So the drop column command is the same. I can remove the table because I no longer need to reference the table because I'm inside of this with statement with the table here and then I save it. And then the uh, upgrade, or the downgrade I should say, is going to be the same, so adding the column, so I don't have to change anything there. So this is if I wanna go backwards and undo what I did, uh, but this is going forward, removing the column from the table. So if I run this again, Flask DB upgrade, and then let's just take a look at the SQL that's generated as well. And it tells me that drop column is missing one positional argument column name. And that's because I made a simple mistake. Uh, when you're inside of this with statement, the reason why you use this batch operation here is because you want to use that for all the commands that follow. So I'll just change this OP to batch underscore OP, and that should work. So let's try that again. I'll try the same command, flask DB upgrade, and let's take a look at the SQL. And then it's telling me that mock uh, object has no attribute run, call, uh, run callable. And I know this, this is just something that you have to uh, try twice. So let me run that again and see if it works. And let's see if it works without the SQL. There we go. So it seems the uh, dash dash SQL is not working in this particular case, um, but I did pass the information to the database to be updated. So I pass this, these two operations to the database to be updated. So let's take a look to see if the database was in fact updated. So um, SQLite 3 test.db tables. I still have a table named test. And if I select star from test, we see that I have two columns now. I still have the ID one and I have the column uh, first and second, which represents the name, but I no longer have that remove column. And if I look at the schema for this, I no longer have the remove column there. So it's pretty straightforward. And if you want to see all the other commands that you can use, uh, just go to the documentation here. I believe it's commands in the API details. And uh, these commands are the ones that you may want to use. So these aren't exactly the commands that I'm looking for. So let me just find the exact one and I'll link it in the description below. So if you want to modify other things in your SQLite database, so it's not just uh, dropping a column, you can do something like rename a column as well. It's kind of the same process. Um, let me just find where the commands are. So, oh, operations. So, bulk insert, check constraints, and yeah, these look like it, yeah. So batch drop column, drop column. So yeah, I'll link this to you in the description below and hopefully that will help you.
So that's about all for this video. I just want to tell you that I do have courses on my website. I actually cover Flask Migrate in more detail in my Flask Extensions course, so you can check that out. Um, also, if you need any help from me on your project, uh, just check out the coaching page on my website, and I can help you with your project um, if you're at a certain stage. So um, just check out that page if you need help with anything, and check out my courses if you're interested in learning more about Flask or some extensions in Flask. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions about this, you can always leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching and I will talk to you next time.